Hello and welcome to Red Live. Hit that subscribe button and be cool. Kia beti mutulunyanya. Ah, it's been a while since I butchered her name. For those of us that find her name to be a mouthful, she is popularly known by a stage name of KB. Now she's a singer, a songwriter, a model, a stage performer, and an actor. Some background. She made a television debut in 2001. I first remember her from the ETV Soapy backstage for a role as KB. Perhaps this is where she got her stage name from. And if so, we really do have to thank the backstage team. They just simplified everything for us. In 2007, she landed a role on Rhythm City, the show that replaced backstage on ETV. On Rhythm City, she played the role of Lucila Villagazi for seven years. According to a drum article, KB said this about her departure from Rhythm City. The decision to leave the show was not mine. Rhythm City decided they won't be bringing the character back. After that, I thought to myself, I don't want to be in the same situation again where I have invested all my time into a project and later on, they just decide at the drop of a hat, they don't want to work with me anymore. So since I have left, I have been doing all the stuff I put on hold before the seven years I was there. I run empowerment workshops in the Northwest on the art because my inspiration is to have an arts academy, artist development, a agency one day. Music. The albums are her debut album Beautiful Vibrations in 2002, Rock Lifati, El Musica, My Rhythm, Kimusadi, Run Free, The Evolution in 2011. KP's music fuses urban pop, R&B, house, some jazz elements, and some Latino mixed in for some good listening. Awards. 2003 Summer Best R&B, 2008 Summer Best Urban Pop, 2003 Metro FM Awards Best Newcomer, 2003 Metro FM Awards Best R&B, 2004 Metro FM Award Best Female Artist, 2004 Metro FM Award Best R&B, 2005 Metro FM Award Best Female Artist, 2008 Metro FM Award Best Styled Artist, 2005 and 2006 Kids Choice Awards Favorite Female Artist. So what happened to KB? After she left Rhythm City in 2014, she packed her bags and took some time off the entertainment industry. She ran empowerment workshops in the Northwest. In 2016, she starred in a movie titled 100 Lives. Then in 2016, she posted one of the hottest nude photos to ever heat up my phone. She captioned it as follows. So often we place others' opinion of us above our own. We let them decide who and what we are. Be your own ambassador. Trust your journey. Run your own marathon. Be the beholder of your own beauty inside out now the picture still gets me warm and fuzzy inside to this day she was 37 years old in this picture by the way in 2017 she decided to focus on her music there were reports at the beginning of 2017 that she's in studio working on new material for an upcoming album as i mentioned her last album that i could find was run free in 2011 she did release music in 2016 but not a full album if you guys know about her latest this album please do comment down below and let me know KB returned to the small screen with a role on the Afrikaans Soapy 7 d line. Speaking to Chisa Live, KB said this, At the time, I didn't think I'd return to TV, never mind a Soapy. But when 7 d line called, it immediately felt right. I knew I had to take the role. It represented not only a new challenge for me, but also a chance for people to see me in a whole new light. That is what is most important to me. And that's the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.